If you come to do business, you should go upstairs. I am but a poor underling. Hello, sir. Is this the house of the man called Farad? It is I. What can I do for you? We're searching for Mr. Darcy. He was supposed to come here to do business. Yes. Yes, he did come here, but I don't know where he is. <sighs> to be honest, our exchange did not exactly go as planned. And if you are his associate or a member of his family, know that you owe me a large sum of money. How so? Well, this Darcy fellow came here to take the shipment, and he was supposed to deliver me a promissory note. Which never arrived, I imagine. How could you let him leave with your merchandise without payment? Well, he's the son of a very well-known family. I did not deem it necessary to try and obtain more guarantees. What if something happened to him? Nothing happened. At least I don't think so. Why should that concern me? I'm not his brother. He owes me money, and I do not have the slightest idea of where he might be. I suspect that you're not telling us everything. Oh, come on. If you have not come to repay his debt, leave me alone so I can work in peace. I already told you that I do not know where this man is. Leave me alone! Greetings. If you have come to do business, head upstairs, if there's any business left to do. Why do you say that? They haven't been paying me, and I've had to work with cheap ingredients for weeks. Have you heard of a man called Bastian Darcy? <sighs> it would be difficult not to. His name is the only thing my boss talks about. Apparently, he did not pay for one of our shipments and still left with the goods. And now my boss makes me work twice as much to compensate for his losses. With ingredients I wouldn't even feed to a pig. And what did your boss do? Well, he spent every waking hour cursing his name. That's how I learned about it. What do you do here, exactly? I create and prepare complex potions. Not simple health potions, but far more subtle things. And if I'm not mistaken, things are not going the way you would want them to. The boss has always been difficult, but ever since he got ripped off, it has been a living hell. I work using leftovers thrown away by all the other alchemists, while listening to him screaming at me and everyone else all day. This is no way to live. How can a brilliant, conscientious alchemist keep working here? I am certain that any great laboratory in town would welcome you with open arms. So why continue protecting your employer? This position may not be the most rewarding these days, but it wasn't always like this. We'll leave you to your work. Uh, how kind of you. You again. I already told you that I do not know where the man you're searching for is. You may not know where he is, but you did everything you could to find him, didn't you? What do you mean? Does this document ring a bell? You hired some debt collectors to find Mr. Darcy. How dare you rummage through my belongings? You could have taken legal action and retrieved what you were owed, but you sent some killers instead. I doubt the governor would approve. Do you want us to tell him about it? No. But please, understand me. The Darcy family is on the continent. It would take months for them to reply to my complaint. What other solution was there? My shop will not survive this. Tell us who these debt collectors are and we'll take care of it. They loiter in an alleyway of ill repute, not far from here, in the science district. That's what I feared. Probably a bunch of cutthroats. If Bastian survives... If he survives, remind him of what he owes me.
best potions and the most efficient concoctions. All of Alsard's talent put into bottles. Blasts, you'll find the quintessence of happiness. Have mercy, have mercy. I will repay everything, I swear. This is nothing but a horrible misunderstanding. My family is very rich. They will give you everything you want, please. Hey, you! Leave this man alone! What do you want? No one asked you for your opinion, so get lost. Maybe he's friends with the weakling. Maybe. In any case, it seems like he wants to share his fate. You think I'm afraid? I've fought uglier people than you. Vasco, let me try to take care of this. How much money are we talking about? You're here to collect a debt, right? Between what he owes our client and our commission, it's a hefty sum. But if you want to pay in his stead, my lord, please do. I don't think you realize who you are dealing with, so let me introduce myself. My name is De Sardé. I am the legate of the congregation, and I am here to save the life of one of our citizens. If you do not deliver him to me immediately, I will have no choice but to inform the governor. And you'll end up rotten in jail in no time. Haha, <laughs> what a bunch of jokers. I haven't heard that one before. Yeah. Should we show them that we're not here to joke around? A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Let's see if you can ward off this fight. Close to this, sir. I thought these brutes would kill me. Don't mention it. It's only natural. But how did you end up in such a situation? Oh, I'm certain someone like you, who belongs to high society, will understand. There is a game table here that is attended by the best of the aristocracy. I lost the money I owed to that merchant while playing there. And since I got out with a few other debts, I had to leave the merchandise as repayment as well. But that's a mere trifle that my father would have paid for without thinking twice. I never would have thought that someone would send these types of brutes after me. What a lack of tact. In any case, I am extremely grateful to you. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is Captain Vasco. Nought and sea given. It was a pleasure, sir. Desarde, can I do anything for you? I must leave you. Thank you, Desarde. My pleasure. But why didn't you tell him who you were? But I did tell him. I was stupid. I resented everyone, and you even more, for the life I didn't get to live. You had it all, everything I thought I was entitled to. But after seeing Bastion, I realized that in the end, I was exactly who I wanted to be. A naught, and a proud one at that. I'm glad to hear it. No more regrets? No more regrets. And I certainly don't regret not being called Leandra Darcy.
Glad to see you, my friend. Can I do anything for you? What did you think of your brother? Meeting him in such circumstances must have been upsetting. I had high expectations for this encounter. I was naively hoping for some emotional reunion, and I found myself in front of a conceited and selfish idiot. Need I say more? While it was disappointing, this encounter must have allowed you to assert yourself and sweep your regrets away. This is true, and I'm very grateful to you for it. You helped me and accompanied me in a period of doubt. Thanks to you, I feel like myself. It's a service I will not forget. Did you want anything else? What do the Nort's tattoos mean? The first tattoo we get indicates whether we're sea-born or sea-given. The rest of them tell our story. They tell of everything we've been through, our rank, but also the storms we've sailed through. What do yours mean? That I am a sea given. That I sailed through a hurricane when I was but a simple sailor. That I performed several voyages as a captain without losing a single man. Does my entire curriculum really interest you? It's important to me that I get to know you better. I'm flattered, but there are other ways to do so than questioning me, you know. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. Honor Manawi, do you need something? I must leave you. See you later. No one answers! Your Excellency, welcome. I am honored to receive such a prestigious guest. You will not regret it. My wares are the best in all Hikmet. 
And always in the vanguard of progress. Where do your wares come from? Most come straight from the continent. That's still where the most refined objects come from, isn't it? But others are also crafted in Hikmet, of course. We have some great workshops here.